Hello everyone, this is Dungeon Collect here with another expert review. Uh, here we, I just got this in the mail, so I may as well open it now uh, and do a review on it. So, here we have the HasLab Sentinel, which finally came in. It was taking it a little bit for me to get, taking FedEx a little bit for it to get here. Uh, but yeah, this box is huge. I am 6'1 for reference. And I have a picture of it. Uh, there's the picture of me right next to it. But yeah, this guy is huge. It looks like uh, Galactus is supposed to be bigger than that. So I can't wait for that to come out next year. Uh, but yeah, here is the box. Let's go over that real quick. So first you get that nice picture of the Sentinel here blasting. Uh, about to grab Jean Grey, Cyclops here lasering it. Um, and then you get the X-Men symbol here and this um, weird writing here, Marvel Legends logo here in the bottom, and then HasLab here. And then we'll go over the side. So you get another picture of a Sentinel, two of them actually, with the uh, Sen uh, Lady Sentinel Prime, the female version. And then here is the back or front, they're both kind of like fronts, I guess. Um, so you get that picture of the Sentinel's head facing down towards Bastion or the male Sentinel figure uh, with Wolverine going against it. And then you got another Sentinel here in the background. Get that X-Men logo here again with that same symbol, or the Legends logo, HasLab also there. Here's the other side here with Omega Prime fighting uh, Magneto from the Age of Apocalypse, and then also Professor X from Age of Apocalypse, and that looks like Moira. Uh, you also get that red X symbol here at the bottom, and then top here, you get that X Men symbol there, and at the bottom here. But besides that, let's crack this guy open. Okay, here is what the packaging looks like in the inside here. So first, you get this plate here with all the styrofoam falling out of it. With the wrap, that helps protect the Sentinel from breaking. So we'll keep that aside. Well, I'm keeping the box. I was being very careful when I was trying to open it. Uh, then you get more styrofoam here to remove. And then first, we'll, let's go over the accessories for him. I will do the... Uh, Sentinel uh, Prime figures, the female and uh, Bastion Prime figures uh, in a separate video. But yeah, first you get this ten these tentacles here, which are put onto his hand, which I will go over once we pull out everything. And then here we got the, uh, I forgot the name of this one. This one's heavy, the he uh, hell head of it. Um, I forgot the name of this head sculpt. Uh, I can't remember uh, the name of it. Ow. I, I, I used to have it like in my head constantly. Um, but now just videoing, I totally forgot the name of this. But yeah, this head has like a lot of heft to it. It's very heavy. It's like a baseball, maybe a little heavier than a baseball. So yeah, that's one helm head there for you. Put that aside. And then here we have a tri sentinel head, which we'll also go over. But yeah, you get three heads there and there. So yeah, we'll go over that once we get to figure out. Like I said, we'll go all the accessories after that. And then you also get a damaged sentinel head. And then you get a damaged uh, sentinel hand here. And then might as well take show you what the so yeah we got the uh, male Sentinel Prime figure uh, head sculpt here I mean not figure and then we got the Bastion figure here which is exclusively to the Sentinel HasLab and then we got the female Sentinel Prime figure and then I think that's all we got for extras so let's get the actual Sentinel out and yeah let's see how. I'm not sure if you guys so yeah, you get all that high cream on them here. Jesus. Alright, let's just move this out of the way real quick. I will throw all that back in the box after I'm done. 
so yeah there is the sensor so let's get a close-up on them so first we're just going to go over the accessories um so first you get these tentacles that go into his hand here so you get these it's a uh, nice rubbery feel here and it's bendy wire so you can bend it all around if you want like that boom and you have it grab like a mutant and have him hunt them down uh so yeah it starts very skinny here at the beginning and then it gets thicker and thicker here and then you get the support there's some holes in there to let the air come out when you're bending the wire so yeah you get that and it's very rubbery like i so that that'll help hold the figures in it so yeah, you get two of those you get the port there plug it in his hand and then you're good next we got the damaged uh sentinel hand so yeah in here you can see that little piece here that is covered in that purple it's like all damaged up you get that red glow in there with some great tech stuff and they even painted the joints these joints don't move for the hand at all besides this one wants to twist a little bit but i'm not going to force it because this guy is expensive. I don't want to break anything on it. And then you get all these wires and stuff in the wrist joints here. You get all those like gears and stuff like that for uh, the knuckles. So yeah, that looks good. You get this nice purple texture here. You get vents. And you get those like little wires showing up in there. My camera wants to focus. There we go. So. And then all the fingers here are broken except for this pinky and the thumb here. Uh, so yeah, that's the damaged hand for you. Then here is the damaged head, sensible head. So yeah, you get all those scrapes and stuff in there. You get the chin torn apart. And then you get some wiring here in the mouth part with this yellow wire there. You get the eye blown out there for this. Uh, so you get that like burnt marks there and scrapes. And then you get that eye there, more scrapes there. They did a good job on that. And then you get the top part of the head blown off with some wires po uh, popping out. So yeah, this is really cool. I like the purple that they use for the Sentinel too. And then you get the tan look for the face. You get some silver from the inside of the mouth. So yeah, that looks pretty cool. Um, and then you get that like little gear piece for his jaw, but it's completely blown out. Oh, that's not good. A little paint chipped off of his damaged head. It was like right in there. I'm not sure if you can see. It's like right there in that white spot you can see. So yeah, a little paint chipping, but I don't think it'll be too bad to the point it's going to completely mess up the figure. But yeah, that's really cool. And then in the inner part there, you also get some metallic silver there. So yeah, that's damaged head sculpt for you. I think this is... I think the name of it was the Omega Sentinel head sculpt. I'm not quite sure. I don't remember still. Uh, but this is heavy. Very heavy. Like I said. So you get these like spheres here on this head. Silver. And then you get this purple detailing here on top of his head lining. And then you get this like dot on his head. Uh, center of his head like a third eye. <laughs> and then you get uh, this gray detailing there with some purple going around like zigzagging all over the place. Some silver detail in there, silver here, silver spheres for the ears. Get this nice purple here all around the figure. I meant the head sculpt. And you get the silver plate, face plate here with the eyes, gray inner part. And then you get this red chin piece here. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's the Omega Prime Sentinel figure. I mean head sculpt. I don't know why I keep saying this figure. And then here is the Tri-Sentinel head sculpt here. It has three faces on it, so you get this like little crown piece going on throughout it. So this the damaged head sculpt has that same thing going on too. But this one's more circular, as you can see there. So yeah, you got like this like half spear, sphere uh, head there with the crown going around with some more spheres around it. So yeah, one head sculpt here. I mean, one face here is gold plated. Uh, with this like gold detailing here with some wires in the mouthpiece here. Here's the other side with the silver with just wiring going on there. And then here is the other one with this like bronze look. Um, and then you get this like arc reactor look here where he's going to blast the mutants. And you get that purple, I mean not purple hue, red hue around the edges of that 
and then it gets more white towards the center, making it look like it's glowing. So yeah, and I like the purple that they used on this too. But then that's all we got for accessories. So let's get up close and personal with the Sunstone. So, let's see if I can get my camera. Hey, there we go. Tripod to get to where it's supposed to go. All right, so here is the Sentinel up close. So his head sculpt is basically the damaged head sculpt, except no damage at all. You get this tan face plate here for him. You get some wiring in the mouth. So yeah, you got blue wire here, I mean yellow, and then a red one here. And then you get like this vent look here in the inner part of the mouth. And then you get that big chin piece here with some gray going around it. Uh, you get that crown look around the head again. And then here's the top of the head with that rectangle uh, sculpt in there with some more sculpting in there. So yeah, that's the head sculpt. And then for the neck, you get some wiring in the inner part of the neck here. It's gray painted. And then uh, I'm not sure if the I, I mean, if the batteries are in or not, but I will show you how to do that here in a little bit after we go over the actual figure. Um, and then going down, we'll just go down and then go back up when we go behind it. Uh, so yeah, here is the top torso here. So you get this like arc reactor look here, this, sent, uh, this power source here. And you can see that it has like some sculpting in there. And it's uh, like red hue. I'm not sure if they, nope, no batteries in it. So I'm gonna have to put some in anyways. Um, so yeah, you get this nice purple paint here on the top torso. And then also you get the shoulder pads, which flap. Um, you get this nice shiny metallic uh, chest here for him. And then here's this shoulder. Actually, I'll just go down. I'll turn it around as we go down instead of having to go all the way back up. And then here's the back. So I think you're supposed to put your batteries through the back, if I am correct. I'm gonna have to see, but you also got like these jet packs here in the back piece here, which is really cool. Uh, they're just painted gray. And it does tell you actually, because you get these uh, the arrows. And then you also got sculpted arrows here. I'm not sure if that's for telling you where the batteries are. Um, and then here in the back of the neck, you also get that big wiring here. You get some screws here for the shoulders. And then we'll move down more. And then you get a lighter purple for the actual bicep, tricep area. You get some more arrow sculpts there. And then for the back, lower back piece here, you get some wiring down there. So you get some blue here, some yellow. And the other side, you get blue, I meant red and yellow here. And then here is the front side with the abs. So yeah, you get more wiring here with this thick wire. You get some red wiring in there and then yellow and then yellow and blue and the pelvis area here. It's purple. It's like a diaper basically. It's just kind of like laying there, but it's secure enough that it's not going to look like a diaper when you're moving it. So yeah, and then here is the side. I'm going to move this up real quick. And here's the back. So you get some wiring here at the inner, in the back of the legs here. Uh, so yeah, you get some blue wiring there. A little bit of yellow in there, if you'd see. And then you got yellow and red. And then we'll move down to the thighs, if I can. So yeah, you get that light purple again. And you go around. You get this nice sculpting here. Here's the knees. You get some gray parts on the top of the knees. You get some vents in the thighs. And then you get these like joints here, which are supposed to be pinned joints, kind of. It gives it that look, but I'm not sure if they're actually pinned joints. Um, I'm also going to test and see it, how the knees are when I'm doing the articulation for this figure because I've been hearing that people are having trouble with the knees falling constantly. Uh, but yeah, you get some nice sculpting there for the joint pieces, and you get some vents. Back side here. And then down to the feet. So yeah, you get some gray detail in there, and you get the dark purple again with some nice vent work there in the inner calf. And then you also get the ankles. This, like, little piece here 
and then you just get that ankle pivot there. So yeah, and then also for the bottom, you get these like jet boots here going on. Uh, so you get the yellow around the edges and then white in the center and you get this nice like purple sculpt to give that arc reactor look. But yeah, um, so yeah, let's go over the articulation for the figure. So let's move him back. This thing back up real quick. Sorry, facing my ugly face. All right, and my tripod's not cooperating well. All right, there we go. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to do this well. Uh, I tried, I cleared off my whole table. So um, yeah, so this, this doesn't really have a joint for the head. It's mainly, so if I pop off the head, if I can without it falling. Ooh. I didn't like that clicking. Oh my God. I really don't want to break it. <laughs> okay, well, it's just a ball there and, okay, now I just shove it back in, okay. It's stuck while I'm about to pull it out, but now I just put it back in. Okay. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's just a ball here and there is like a light in the eyes. I just need to put batteries in it. And then this also lights up too. So there's also a, a swivel here at the bottom of the neck. So yeah, you can look left and right here for the ball piece there, but then you also can rotate the neck a little bit, not a whole lot, but you can't really get any up and down or pivoting going on there. And then for the shoulders, so these flaps move, like I said, you can get it to move out about that far, not too bad. And then you can also do a 360 rotation because the shoulder pads aren't really connected to this piece. They have like a rotating mechanism in the shoulder piece here. And then you also got a bicep swivel here double jointed elbows that go up to that far and then wrists so wrists can go down that far and then you also get this oh yeah another thing you also get this flap here which has some articulation there so you can move that if you want wrists can move up that far i also meant i forgot to go over the details on the hands so yeah you get those great um gears here get some vents there and then you get the repulsor look there with the red hewing there. And then you get a peg hole for the tentacles. And then you get some wiring in the wrist too. Yellow wiring. Uh, so yeah, that is the looks of the wrist. Sorry, I totally forgot about that. So yeah, this moves up and down. 360 rotation around there. And then the fingers have articulation too. So for the hand, I mean, for so first, the thumb, you get that. Uh, movement for when you're doing this and then you also rotate the thumb here it hinges for each joint so there and then the top here and then for the actual fingers you can rotate them you can move them up and down at each joint here but this one wants to move there we go you can also again get them to do a fist Just like that. So, yeah, that's just one of the things that you can do with the hands. <laughs> um, so, that's all we got for the arms. And then you also got a ball joint at the pelvis. So, you can, oh, what did I just do? I just, I hope I didn't break it. Or did I do something else? I opened it. But yeah, you get some little side to side motion there forward and then you ask you can't really go forward with that uh ball joint at the diaphragm um and then you got app crunch for him so you can go down just that much you can go backwards just that much um and then twisting you can't really twist him that well and then let's move down to the legs so a lot of people have been having trouble with the knees but we'll go over that here in a second move his hand so you can see the leg so you can go forward 
about that much and it will stay there. But if you're obviously pushing it down, it'll go down a little bit more. Uh, you also got a thigh cut for him here. And knees are double jointed. And clearly this one, the knees are staying up well. So that's good. Uh, it does not have a boot cut. Uh, let's check with this one real quick. I'm kind of curious if this one has the problem with the knees. So it looks like it's giving just a little bit, but not too much. But if you push it down, it will definitely go down. Just if you want its knees to stay up, just don't push it too much or put a lot of force into it. And then for the ankles, they can inch down that far, up that far, some ankle pivots. And then, yeah. Now let me put some batteries in this figure. Okay, so for the batteries to plug them in, so you do have to remove this piece. Uh, so yeah, it just pops out like that. Uh, how did it go? <laughs> Yes, it's supposed to just, oh, yep, it's just pegs. So yeah, this is what it looks like here. So yeah, there's ports and then pe pegs right here. And then this is what it would look like underneath that. So yeah, there's the peg holes for it to go in. And then here's the battery pack, which you will unscrew and put your AA batteries in. Just put the AA batteries there, some negative and pop. Never mind, it's not AA, it's AAA. I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, now that I got the right batteries, now it's AAA. Slide that bad boy in there just like that. Boom. And boom. And we'll put the casing back on there. Just like so. Bam. There we go. And might as well try to get the head off. Watch me struggle. Good God. I'm gonna punch myself in the face. Or like he's gonna headbutt me. Okay. Come on. Kinda gotta wiggle it a little bit. And I accidentally turned it on. Alright, little pause. I'm gonna try to wiggle it out. Okay, so that was a struggle bus there. But yeah, this is what it would look like underneath the head. It's just a big ball with this clear plastic here with the lights inside. And then you could rotate the neck here. The ball doesn't rotate, so yeah. And then it, light doesn't shine out this way. So for the Tri-Sentinel, you would have to have one facing out if you want the lights to show. And it'll only show on one side. So I'll show you, I'll demonstrate it. So first let's go over the lights. So push this, so you get that white light there. You get that yellow light. You get an orange or a red light. Oh, it's switching actually. It's rotating through colors here in this mode. Let's see here what other ones are there. So this one's red. Still, still red. It's not changing. Okay. White, yellow. And it's turning into green. It's gonna switch into anything else. I think it's the screen there. And then yellow, it's gonna switch to red. Okay. White to, I think it's just gonna, uh, white to yellow. And then to red, or is it just gonna stay yellow? I think it's gonna stay yellow on that one. Maybe. I don't know, I keep thinking it's switching. So yeah, this was the original head sculpt for it. And then we'll switch to, I guess, the battle damage one. 
So yeah, good this, there we go. So yeah, this one, the light won't come out at all because it's damaged, it's not gonna show light through there anyways. So let's turn that on. So yeah, it'll only show on this eye. And that's what it looked like there. And then first, the uh, tri sentinel head sculpt, or not really tri sentinel, it's the, you know, three head, heads, faces. Turn that back on. So yeah, that one, you can see through it, but for the rest, you won't see through it, the lights through them at all. Besides maybe that one, because it has it a little bit showing on that side. Whoa, that fell. So yeah, and then you rotate it. You have that head sculpt, rotate it. You have that head sculpt there. And then here we got the Omega Sentinel here. So let's turn that bad boy on. So it's right now it's white. So yeah, that's what it looks like. It's gonna turn yellow. This is a hefty head, FYI. So if you guys were wondering, again, this is a hefty one. So yeah, that's what it looks like there. But I think I'm gonna keep this head sculpt on and then I'll probably have like some mutants displayed with the bow damaged head sculpt or the and the bow damaged hand, which we should probably just put that on. It's for the right hand, by the way. So I'll show you how to do that real quick. So you're supposed to pull out the whole thing. So yeah, it's pretty easy to pull out, not too bad. And you just put that on there, boom. That's what it looks like there. And then show you how to put on the tentacles for him. So yeah, like I said, you get the peg there. Get a peg hole on this hand here. Just put that bad boy on there. If I can get, there we go. And I'll demonstrate how to put, wrap a mutant around it. So we'll go with like low Wolverine or something. So let me grab him. So how I'm gonna get Logan to get in there. It's kind of first wrap this thing first around a little bit in a tight circle kind of. Like that kind of, and then put Logan right inside of it. Kind of wrap it around a little bit tighter if I can. I think that's as tight it'll go. And then it should be able to hold Logan up like that. So it looks pretty cool. And then we'll turn on lights for him. Let me turn off the lights, maybe you can yeah, it looks a little bit better. That's what it looks like without the lights on. And that looks pretty cool, I think. So, um, yeah, that's the Sentinel figure. I think this is a really cool figure. I'm happy I got it. Um, this is a HasLab exclusive from last year, so you won't be able to get it unless you pay like $1,000 on eBay for one that someone already bought. Uh, they're not making any more of these. Uh, like I said, it came with these two exclusive figures also, but I'll just do a separate video for these two. Um, because they're their own thing, I think. Uh, whereas this thing is its own thing by itself, which is, this was the main thing for so I was happy about this and I am happy that I don't have to deal with the uh, knee situation that everyone uh, quite a few people have been having with the knees giving wads, uh, while the legs are up uh, without anyone putting like force on it so mine's perfectly fine for right now uh, what I've been hearing is that if you have it and you have that situation going on there's like a screw underneath one that um, like knee joints and you should be able to screw it but you want you don't want to screw it too much to the point it's going to like snap the actual joint so be careful when you, if you have that situation and you want to do that but uh yeah i think this figure is awesome um i would say i, rec I recommend you get them but you can't anymore i did order the haslab galactus and that's also over too so that one's supposed to be bigger this is huge i'll do a scale comparison real quick with wolverine actually i'll grab another figure that's like a normal size 
I did have to clear off my desk. So that's what it looks like with Wolverine right next to it. And it's huge compared to it. And then compared to like a normal size figure. So this is going to be uh, Icarus from the Eternals wave. It's still huge. Like look at it. I am happy I got this. I have no regrets spending 350 on it. And then Galactus was 400 with more stuff coming in with it. So I'm happy about this. Now I just can't wait to get Galactus next year. And this can be fun to display, mess around with for the X-Men characters. I'll probably do like a cool display. I would put him on the top shelf, but I don't want him, I don't want to risk him falling down. So I'll probably have him displayed with a Wolverine and a few extra figures like I think I have like two Rogue figures, I have two Magneto figures, and I have two Wolverine figures, two Deadpool, so I have them displayed with on top of this table here somewhere because I cleared it off. So yeah, that is the Sentinel for you. Um, and uh, if you guys want to check out my link tree in the description, it has my TikTok, Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, uh, PayPal if you want to help donate uh, so I can keep doing this stuff. I, I'm trying to keep... Um, I'm like way behind on my reviews at the moment. So I'll just keep an eye out on YouTube for all that stuff and TikTok. I'm doing like mini videos on TikTok too. If you want like a quick pace uh, review on those figures. But yeah, that's all I really got. So thanks for watching.